Hello everyone. Today's video is a tutorial on how to install the Mechanic Master C34 Pro. About the specification, C34 Pro is equipped with ATX motherboard plus 360 water cooling plus ultra long PSU plus long graphics card. The first step is to dismantle all the chassis case for easier installation of all the round wiring. You can use the PH2 head screwdriver that comes with the case and unscrew it counterlockwise. Cut the wires inside the chassis and put them aside. Secure the motherboard studs according to the motherboard hole location in corresponding positions and insert the I.O. shield in the back of the case. Place the motherboard that installed with CPU and M.2 SSD on the case and secure it with round head screws. Please check the cooler manual, pop the back plate through the four holes around the socket. Plug the CPU power cables and fan splitter and other cables on top of the motherboard into the right side. Now install the RAM. Apply CD cold grease and then secure the water block. After that, connect the water block with fan cables. Pull the cable out of the hole for organizing and hiding the wires later in a better way. The two rows of sunken strip shaped holes are used to secure the cooler. Plug the 24 pin motherboard power cable, switch mount cable, and HDD cable in corresponding positions and bundle these wires together to make room for later installation. The next step is to install the fan at the bottom of the case. You can hide the extra cables underneath the fan. The bottom of the case is compatible with two fans. The specification of 12 cm and 14 cm are both available. Connect the power supply to its bracket. Pay attention to that! The slant of the bracket is on the same side as the power supply fan. Lock all power supply cables, including the HDD and graphics card cables, for later installation. Then connect the power extension cord and turn on the switch. Fix the bracket in four house positions on the bottom and slanted surface of the case. In the upper marked position, you can install a fan or hard disk depending on the length of the power supply. The power supply is compatible with 200mm ATX power supply, but with no fan or hard disk added. In the video, I chose a 16cm long ATX power supply as an example. Although it is not possible to add a fan, it is possible to add a 3.5 inches hard disk to the top of the power supply. Secure the shock absorbing quick release screws on the hard disk to install the hard disk into the bracket. Please note that the hard disk connecting finger should have the same orientation with the opening of the hard disk bracket. Attach the hard disk bracket to the back of the chassis at the hole labeled edge. As you can see, there are several sets of holes here, so you can install them depending on the length of the power supply. On the back of the chassis, there is an astral space for two 2.5 inches hard drives. Remove the hard disk bracket. Note that the hard disk connecting fingers should be facing upwards. Secure the screws through the side of countersunk holes and pass the cable through its notch. Then you can connect the power supply and motherboard together. Remove the graphics card dust strip. Install it. Connect the graphics card cable with power supply cable. The graphics card is compatible with 335mm. Next, turn on the computer and confirm that the hardware is installed successfully. We can now start to straighten out the wires. Tie the wires that you just put out with a cable tie. You can hide it under the fan or cooler. 
CPU power cables and power extension cables can be routined under the cooler. Now, you can adjust the position of the active tabs on the power supply panel according to the location of the hard disk. Snap the panel into the tongue on the top of the chassis. Screw it with countersunk screws. Note that there is an extra screw for the hard disk bracket that needs to be fixed. Finally, secure the case with the chassis countersunk head screws. The longest screw is here used to fix the foot pad. If the handle is needed, you can also buy one. The bearing of the handle is beyond firm.